Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to make a giant ramp thing. I'm going to make it so it extends over the trees and out the back of the build area and make it really really long and probably going to have some hills on it. I think that's a, I think that's a fun idea. So first I'm just going to place a block out here and then I'm going to place a uh, servo on it. There we go, like so. I'm going to use plastic for the entire thing. It's very important to use plastic for this entire build because plastic has no weight. So you don't have to calculate for it. And that works really well. I'm going to change this to 0.1. And I'm going to make the entire thing 0.1 plastic thick. So I'm just making this little rod here. And now I'm going to have to test this. And there's going to be a little bit of a testing phase. So what I'm testing for is to make sure that this edge here doesn't touch the ground when the servo tips over. So, and, and we also want to make sure that as the servo is in position, it's aiming just above the trees here. So I'm going to try, and I have, happen to know from experience, you have to reverse the rotation of this thing when you place the servo like this. I can place it the other way around, you won't have to do that. Um, and servo torque shouldn't matter too much. Um, the angle I'm going to use is a 60 degree angle, so that's 60 degrees from vertical. So it'll be it'll be off in this angle here somewhere. It, essentially, it'll be 30 degrees from the ground up. So it'll be a 30 degree angle for the vehicles to climb, and that's acceptable for most vehicles. Um, they can you know, most of them can accomplish that. Uh, so I've already assigned a, a, a save slot for this, calling it ramp thing. I'm going to save that. And uh, be be aware that when you scale a block, like like I scaled these two blocks here, if you unanchor like that, oftentimes those blocks will fall. There is a rhyme and reason to it, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, just just know that save before you unanchor because you might just have to go hmm, load again, <laughs> and and that gets you back to where you were. If something falls off, then just load again. Um, I need a switch to toggle that thing. And here I'm going to I'm going to do some testing. So right there, I turned collision off on this block. And the reason I turned collision off as part of the test is that it lets me see exactly how far below the ground I really am. How much do I need to back off? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this block. I'm going to adjust it up that direction and I'm gonna go just looking at this I'm thinking like 0.2 ought to be a nice test position next so there you can see that it uh, it went a little farther when I did collision off even though I adjusted it by 0.2 so maybe I'll take it another 0.2 So there you can see it's still hitting, still interfering, but it's not going all the way down. This this front edge doesn't even disappear. So another point too. Okay, there you can see we've got it. So when I turn collision on, I can actually see a sliver of the black of the switch underneath this thing. And when I turn collision off, rather, uh, I do not see it move at all. So it's in position and it's not under any stress at all. So it's not touching the, the ground. I do see that that switch is in my way. So it's going to hit the switch if I don't move the switch out of the way. Okay, so now that we've got our, our base established there, I want to switch to, I want to make this thing so that it is a nice even number. So here I've got two by six. So six is the important part. That's the, this vertical here. And now I'm going to change my scale factor to 2. And that allows me to maintain even numbers as I scale these things larger and larger. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to stop short of the end here. Let's see where the other one ends up. Let's see what my overall number is. So I'm going to go for I'm going to go for 230. Let's see. 
make it try to make it about even. Let's go to a scale factor of one. I'll move that side out one and this side out one. That's way I'm still at 230. Okay, scale factor back to two, and up we go. So I'm going to go up to the point that I think when it tips over, I want this, the end of this block, to be above these trees, and then I can go to a flat, a flat surface, and that might be good. Let's let's go right there. I'm going to save again, of course. Okay, loaded, and let's see, collision off, yes, I'm going to turn collision off on that thing, and that will allow me to just walk through it a lot easier, it just kind of makes the build process go smoother right there, and I'll, I'll use that uh, quite often, turn it on, turn it off uh, throughout this process. So it lays down really fast, I noticed that, and it's got a gap underneath it, which is awesome. And what you can see here is if I try to get my camera so I feel like I'm level, I can see I've still got some trees there that are in the way from if I make a level platform across the top of this, I'm going to hit those trees. You can't touch the trees at all. If you touch the trees at all, even the little tippy top of the tree, um, it'll make your ramp vibrate and it'll shake you off and it'll do, it'll do all kinds of crazy stuff. So that thing needs to go up probably a good at least 20, maybe 30 studs up still so I'm at 254 right now I'm just gonna go ahead and go up to 310 there we go that sounds good I'm just this is how I build um, this is why it takes so long that's why I don't do too many tutorials because <laughs> I gotta think this is probably annoying to watch all right I, either way, I accomplish the mission, right? And it's fun, but it takes a while sometimes. All right, so I'm above these trees. Um, be aware that other trees have, have, or other plots rather, have different trees, different heights on their trees. So like this one here looks like it's probably the tallest one of this of this set. And yeah, I'll, I'll show you that in just a little bit. Let me go to the next level here, and let's straighten this thing out. So I'm going vertical. And I need to create a faster wing to uh, work on this thing. So I'm going to come back here towards the towards the uh, spawn area. I'm going to put down a red candy and a blue candy and a wing. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to be able to go up really fast. Because this thing's going to get really tall really quickly. And I need to be able to get up there and manipulate stuff. So I need to make a fast wing. So what I'm doing here is the red candy, I went to 1.5, so I click at each one of these twice, and that makes you, you know, 1.5 times your, your regular size, but I'm not going all the way up as high as it'll go. And then on this one, I'm going to click each one of these twice, and that takes it to one. That just brings me back to regular size. It, it brings me back to this exact size right here. Uh, so then I'm going to save, and I'm going to take the red candy first. That makes me big. As soon as you're full size, put on the wings, and then take the blue candy, and that makes you back down. So the wings actually get bigger. They, they get more powerful. They lift more weight. They lift you faster. So you can go higher, faster, and forever because it's a wing. Um, the speed increase also works on other types of jetpacks, but the other types of jetpacks do have a height limit. So uh, you will not be able to fly all the way up as high as this thing's going to go here in just a little bit. And I'm really trying to land on this thing, realizing now and only now the collision is turned off. I won't be able to land on it because I'm stupid. Okay, collision on. Hey, look at that. What do you know? It's a miracle. Okay, so after I stop being dumb, um, let me go down here and I'm going to build just right here on this edge. Okay, I told you I was going to stop being dumb, but here I am bouncing on this stupid thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh gosh you know sometimes things just don't work the way i want them to and this is one of those times oh my goodness dude just stand on the stupid thing you just go over there and just stand on it come on oh no no it's right here just stand right there don't bounce just stand on there thanks it's about time come on captain mick 
All right, what am I looking for? Plastic. Okay, this this tutorial is going to take forever. I'm sorry about that. So I'm placing the plastic right there. Um, we use 60 on our on our servo down here. So this is this needs 30 degrees in order to bring it to level. But I don't want to do 30 degrees all in one shot. I want to go 15 and then move a little bit and go 15 more. So I'm going to tilt that by 15 degrees. I'm going to put this into place. And first, I'm going to turn collision off. Otherwise, it's just going to push me off of this thing. And I'm going to go to 0 0.01 for this adjustment. And I'm going to adjust right to this edge. Uh, oof, bouncy. Okay, I'm going to adjust right to this this front edge here. Right there. And then I'm going to pull that up and meet up with that. And... Try to make sure there's no lip on that thing because I want this I want this to be a nice smooth transition. Um, cars get along really well with that with that nice smooth transition. They don't get along so well with a with a bump. Sometimes they get stuck on it and weird things can happen. So now I'm going to go ahead and extend this up to some number I can deal with, like 0.5 for instance, and then I'm going to change my uh, my scale tool to 0.1 and bring that down to its regular thickness of 0.1. Now I'm going to bring this out to 2 just to get it back to a nice even number. And there we have an easy way of dragging this thing all the way across and really quickly scaling the entire thing. So I can see that this is 230 studs across from this side to that side over there. So I can just set my scale tool to 228 to make this block go right to the end of that block and it, and it works out just perfect. So before I do that though, I'm just going to go ahead and build over here for a little bit because it doesn't really matter how much building I do on this little stick here. Um, it'll still work out perfect when I, when I line it up that way. And here, let's see, so there is a way I can, I can do that. I can just go over here and you can turn on match rotation and you wanna leave anchor block turned on for this stuff and that will allow you to just place the block right there. Ah, it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good if you're gonna re-rotate it and move in it anyway, but that's that's what you can do so here's my other 15 degree and now I need to move that very precisely so that it works out just as perfect as that last one did I'll put it right on that edge right right uh, there somewhere move this back that is just about as perfect as it's gonna get yes that's that's just about right Okay, and moving this to something that's easy to deal with, and then point 0.1, and drag that up to 2, so it's a nice even number. Put this at point 0.1, it's regular thickness. And now I'm going to go to 2 on my scale tool, and now I can drag that out a little ways. So this one here will be flat with the ground. This will be the ground level. And so I can make a platform here, um, but do realize that you have limited space to go flat because you've got this much distance to build on. You've got to keep building vertical the entire time. So uh, keep in mind where flat is. This is my flat reference. This is my ground reference. Um, so I can go, I can go up from this, and if I go up to a 30 degree angle, that's the same as this. If I go up from that to you know 60 degree angle, then I got to make sure I have a vehicle that can climb up that steep. From, from that reference, it can get a little tricky. So you might have to redo some stuff here and there, um, but I'll just keep going with this. And as soon as I'm done with this thing, I'll, I'll just change this to two, two, eight, and then I'll go, I'll just grab that and go pop, and it's, and it's there. So I'm gonna monkey around with this thing and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And I'll show you my finished product.
Okay, I saved, I've reloaded. Um, basically, I'm done with the design. So this will be this will be the basic hill that it will mimic over and over again as it goes up. Um, this block here, this block here will be should be right at 2,000 if I put it right at the tippy top of this of this other one here. So that's what that's what I'm going for is if you move this right to the top of that the number here is let's see 0 0.59 if I move that down 0 0.59 that is right at the top of this block so what I did to make that happen was I grabbed this big one that I've got on the bottom here and I moved it up 2000 so 1000 then 2000 and then I scaled it down and made it into this right here. It, it is this block. So the top of that is the top of that one cloned up here. And so it's in the right spot. So all I have to do is clone this whole thing, move it up 2000 even, and it'll land right on the tip top of this. It'll be lined up perfect. So, but first, before I do that, I've got to get rid of this big black piece here. And then I've got to get, um, I got to widen this thing out. Uh, so that when I go cloning it, duplicating it up, 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 uh, it'll be the right width. Because that would not be good if I didn't have that. Then I have to widen each one of them individually, which big pain in the butt. Okay, to 228, I believe it was, because we have a 230 total. And so right now I'm just going to go along and I'm just going to widen each one of these. out all the way um, before let's see I, guess I don't really need to do anything before I start cloning I just go down here and start cloning so what I'm gonna do is grab this piece right here is gonna be the bottom one so I'm just gonna turn on that clone tool I've got it set to a thousand already so I'm gonna grab everything there this piece and that piece I'm gonna unselect my jetpack and I'm hunting for the one that's vertical. So this this is my vertical reference here, and this one right here is also vertical. So I'm going to select that, select it again. And that lines up my my clone, so I'm going straight up in the air. So 1,000, and I'm going to rotate just a little bit, and 2,000, and that should snap that right to where I want it to be. I'm just going to go up here and double check to make sure it snapped to the right spot. It should just look right and I shouldn't really have to check it because I kind of did the math ahead of time it looks perfect so I don't see any overlap or anything crazy there so uh, you'll notice as I cloned that it changed my rotation angle so now I'm now I'm off angle so I'm gonna have to select that guy right there again and then again and that puts my angle back and it might hold that the rest of the way up now now that I've done that again let's see so one 2000 okay there's another chunk so essentially you now it changed my angle again you can see that very clearly so I'll have to keep selecting that thing over and over again but that's okay as long as you grab the right one every time you're fine okay and you know I have a lot of plastic so I could just keep doing this especially since it's point 0.1 um, I am nowhere near being out of plastic I could do this thing I could probably sit here and clone this thing up for 20 minutes but I'm not going to I'm gonna put the brakes on here pretty quick because I got one more thing to show you before I well before I show you something different so okay move this up again I'm gonna do this is my last one I'm gonna stop right here so that's how tall this thing's gonna be that's pretty high and I'm going to save this and then load it again And now I should be able to test it. I should be able to lay it down. Let's see what it looks like laid down. If 
hopefully it doesn't start falling. How are we doing? Okay, I don't see any pieces falling off. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Laid down. That was quick. That was too quick. Anchor that. Okay, we still got a gap under it. Awesome. So it should be good. Oh yeah, you can see that. That's that's quite a hill there. I don't know if I've got vehicles can climb that or not. Let's find out. I gotta load something now. We gotta test it. Let's do the super off-roader. This thing is actually meant for climbing hills, so we're going to use it for that purpose today. I'm going to show you something else too. So this, uh, the hill climbing thing is, uh, it needs a lot of downforce. Um, it's easy to get bouncy on this, on, uh, on a ramp like that. So I'm going to add a little extra downforce. So this thing's got thrusters all over it. Um, I think it has, what do I have, like seven or eight thrusters, the red ones. Um, well, I'm down to one, so I've got one left after all the ones load that are on here. It's got some forward firing thrusters and some down firing thrusters for uh, for downforce. But right now I'm going to use these, and we're just going to make some permanent on thrusters. So we're going to make them so they don't run out. I'm just going to go ahead and unanchor this whole thing. Just go ahead and drop it. Um, these thrusters are not going to be saved with the build, uh, so it doesn't really matter if. Um, it doesn't really matter if they are if they're saved if they're, if they're in the right position exactly uh, so I'm going to rotate this thing three times and place it right there so now I can turn this thing on I'm going to go to my um, I'm going to go to my clone tool I'm going to turn it on clone and I've got it I've got it ready to roll so essentially I'm going to turn this thing on I'm going to clone it while it's on and I'll put it right on top of my seat that's why it's, I always try to center my seat, so I'm not even going to bother recalculating where the center is. I'm just going to put it on my seat. Um, so actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to turn off, turn off collision. So right now it's it's bonded to this bottom plate here, and in just a little bit I'm going to clone it on top of the seat. So then it's going to be bonded to the seat and whatever this bar is across here. So um, I'm making it invisible too. Actually, I'm, I'll make it invisible after I clone it. Okay, so off, clone, put it in place. Awesome, now I can do this one. And this one will run forever. This is this is now an active forever thruster. And invisible, so it just looks like I'm a hothead. Okay, clone it. I'm gonna put like three of these in here. So we clone it and we'll move it back into position. Put it again, back into position. I think it'd be four of them. Overwhelmed with the roar of this thing. It's super loud to get four of them running inside your, inside your head. <laughs> so, uh, but it is it is uh, unlocked. It's unanchored right now, and those those four are sticking right with me, and I'll be able to run hopefully up that ramp so i'm going to drive into uh, stage one which is right here and load the ramp and as soon as it's done loading i'm going to drive back and see if i can drive up the thing so in order to get the ramp to lay down i've got to unanchor it and i got to be close enough to that switch so i have to jump out of the vehicle go over here Stand right next to the switch. You have to unanchor everything. Flip the switch, and then anchor that piece. You don't have to anchor the entire thing; just one piece on it's good enough. Jump back into my thruster-fueled dragster here. Super off-roader. Uh, there's another video on this guy if you want to see this vehicle. Hey, that kind of looks like it works. That's sort of fun. Awesome. Well, I kind of like the way it takes the humps there. That's kind of neat. So, of course, this one's like, you know, kind of super fast compared to regular wheels and such. We, we're making quite a bit of distance already. This thing can zip right down the river in just, I don't know, very little time. <laughs> it can it can be down the river in, I don't know, 15 seconds or something maybe. I'm not sure. It's quick. So, just know that this reference it's a weird reference when you get up here on a ramp like this um 
it's almost like your reference of what is up and down kind of changes a little bit and it kind of can fool you if especially if you're if you're not losing traction like if i stop here i can almost convince myself if i was at some weird angle and watching for a while if i'm down like this you know trying to drive forward i can almost convince myself that that is the ground level and that these hills are just whatever my imagination wants them to be so it can be kind of kind of silly at times so I got all this downforce on this thing so it's just sticking to this thing real nice and easy uh, but one of the problems I've ran into is that uh, it's so easy to drive off the edge now if I drive off the edge with this one I've got these permanent downforce thrusters they're not gonna let up for a second they're just on I can't turn them off they're they're on forever until I delete them um, so then I'd be flying through the air and I do have jets now the jets win over the thrusters they will they will allow me to get back on the course but as soon as I turn off the jets downforce big time so got to make sure that I'm lined up correctly if I do that um, okay so that's a that's a permanent thruster and it's a gigantic hill that you can climb and hopefully that is handy for you guys to have seen and I'm gonna head down the river and bid you a good day and happy new year everybody it is it is New Year's Eve uh, tonight will be the uh, the ball drop in New York City. I'll be watching that if I can stay up till uh, nine o'clock my time. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it to midnight my time. That's kind of late sometimes. And the festivities are if you're not having a party in your own house, it's, it's just on TV. And I don't know when am I going to watch the Space Needle? I've been there and seen the Space Needle and seen the fireworks, and that's neat. But to watch it on television, I don't know. It leaves me just kind of feeling like I'm missing out, and rather than being a satisfying party kind of atmosphere. So, uh, watch out here that you don't flip upside down when you go off that edge. You've got this permanent downforce thing, so, and check out the power that's in that in that thruster. Oh, it didn't explode. I did one like that the other day, and that thing just exploded. Like the thruster, like the the block below the thruster broke first, and everything else was loose. And it just flung every every part, all different directions. So, anyway, you guys have a happy new year, and thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to Hero Plays Roblox, check out some more of my stuff. I think we're up to like 80 videos on there now, some of Heroes, some of mine. Um, yeah, have a great rest of your day, and happy 2023. Bye bye.